Secrets Emerging. Mm. Welcome back to your Twin Flame Collective card reading for this week. We've got a new card deck. I don't remember what the card is. Several new card decks. So. Several new card decks. Yeah. Do you know what this one's called specifically? We don't have the... But we did shuffle. We pre-shuffled. That way you don't have to sit here and watch us shuffle. <laughs> the, the first one is called Clarifying Life Situations. So something to that effect. All right. So, but at the end, we're going to, you know, do a message from your twin flame. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. Yeah. Okay. So the first card we have are Secrets Emerge. In the rhythm of cycles, the hidden is unveiled. Await the reveal with an open heart and mind. Mm -hmm. So there's been something that's been underneath the surface. Maybe there's been, uh, you have been seeking clarity or maybe you felt confused about something, maybe about your twin flame person, maybe a challenge that you're moving through in your twin flame journey. But just as cycles come and go, those cycles, it's kind of like, um, you know, what I see in my mind's eye is like waves, right? Like the waves when there's a tide, I think a tide washes in and washes out, like something emerges. And that's what the cycles of life. And so you can see that also too is like what is within is also without right the inner and the outer they naturally match and vibrate into harmony so something is coming to be this week and it's going to be unique and specific to you did you want to add something to that well i think it says like you know uh what does it say It'll be if you can turn it to oh, yeah. i can actually read it yeah. that'd be great <laughs> Await the reveal with an open heart and mind. I like that because mm -hmm. whatever it is, it's going to be good. Right. It might be a bit like, whoa, what is this? And all that stuff, but it's, it's going to be good still, whatever it is, mm -hmm. even if it maybe feels not so great, you know, when it emerges, but that's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. But oftentimes it's a sense of relief. It's yeah, like, that's oh, what I mean, right? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is that comes forth is mm -hmm. good. Right. Yeah. All right. And then the second card we have is on, on, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, on your own. <laughs> and you can see there's a, a child and she's playing with balloons and there's just a lot of joy and happiness to be had in this card. It's a beautiful sunny day. And what this card is inviting you to do is a relationship with your twin flame can't happen if you're not having a relationship with yourself because your twin flame is you and so whatever relationship you're having with yourself is what the relationship is going to look like with your twin flame and that's why our twin flames often you know we might be upset or triggered by them and even the love that you experience through your twin flame is the love that you are giving yourself so this card is indicating that through this week it's time to do some introspection with self just to really check in and see how you are feeling about yourself and maybe spending some time with your inner child. Your inner child is full of innocence and delight and joy. You can probably reflect back on when you were a kid and there were probably moments in all of our lives where we experienced that, that deep innocence and joy of just being a child. So allow yourself to connect in with that. Do you want to add something to that? Yeah, I feel like it's, you know, you're your own best friend as well. So it's like, how do you feel in your relationship with yourself there? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're meant to be having fun and being free, just, you know, even in your own company. Yep. So, yeah. All right. Would you like to do the next one? All right. So we got a fist bump. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Trust yourself. It's a pretty clear message, right? Because... I feel like whatever's coming up, right, and, you know, uh, throughout the week with these secrets or something being revealed, it's just trusting yourself and you, wherever you are, mm -hmm. it's where you're meant to be. So it's just a nudge to keep going. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like a lot of people have been healing this, um, not feeling so good about themselves, the worthiness and all this, these things. And, you know, when you land in that place where you feel confident in yourself, that's when you you know, you really feel good to mm -hmm. make all these new choices and to really move into the new. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So a little uh, wink from source, a little bit of a fist bump mm -hmm. that trusts yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And then the next card is worthy goal. It's a bit of an odd, uh, odd combination of words, but 
Yeah, it's still worthiness. I think that's what a lot of people have been healing lately. You might find it in one form or another. It might be coming up. But maybe we're kind of like moving out of it. That's what I feel. We're kind of like moving into a new phase with it. And that's how I um, how I read it. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of like moving into, there's like some uh, talk about life purpose in this card. So mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, that, you know, when you have healed that worthiness block within you, then, you know, mm -hmm. the, wor the world is your oyster. Basically. Right. Yeah. And you also, you can't get around the fact that you are worthy. Mm -hmm. um, you can't undo what the creation that you are. So no matter how many times you may tell yourself that you're not deserving or not worthy, that's simply um, a lie that you tell yourself because it's not true and it can never be true. You can never make it true. And so it's really just surrendering into the truth that you're worthy and you're divine and you are deserving of all of your dreams mm -hmm. with your twin flame. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So in the theme of life purpose, I pulled the life purpose card as well. And uh, we have a key card and it says self-care. If you want to live like royalty, start treating yourself like royalty. Mm. So that's kind of like the next step card, right? The moving into. So yeah. We this goes into the worthiness. When you mm -hmm. feel worthy, you're going to treat yourself like royalty. Mm -hmm. which you, that's what you deserve. Yeah. So you can ponder, you know, how does a person of royalty treat themselves with the utmost and not, and this doesn't mean like in a stuck up snobbish way. That's not, but it means like, how would you care for yourself? Like, what would you allow in to your life and into your being? How would you like, what kind of food would you feed yourself? Um, what kind of clothes would you buy yourself? And allow yourself to tap into that, that richness, that divinity that you truly are, and begin treating yourself in that way. And of course, if you find, you know, any worthiness blocks or anything of that nature, like, oh, that doesn't feel good. Well, that's where you want to go. Because, you know, you and your twin flame, you are you're divine. That's, that's the word in a nutshell. And so you are royalty. Every single one of us, we are royalty because we're, ch we're the, we're children of the most high. So that makes you the most high child and you deserve to treat yourself as such. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. All right. Did Message. I did. I like, She's like it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Yeah. So this is a message, doesn't matter if you're masculine, feminine, this is a message from your twin flame to you, okay? It says, I can feel your presence even though we are apart. Your twin flame can feel you. You know, there's often a thought here in, in consciousness, especially when moving through physical separation, it can feel like the love is not reciprocated. It can feel like you're the one doing the work and you're the one that's loving them deeply while they're just over there having a good old time. But that love is reciprocated. And just because it's not coming back in the way that you expect it to or think that it should, it is coming back to you tenfold. And it's only a matter of time or a matter of moments before all of that love blooms and blossoms in your life. And so, yes, your twin flame can feel you. So it's important that you love yourself and you always honor your heart's dreams and desires. There you go. All right. Anything you want to add to that? No, that's really good. I think that right. uh, we got some good stuff coming up. I feel like, you know, this is, this is a reading for the coming week, but whenever you see this, this is a timeless reading. So it's, exactly. it's going to be some, uh, some, um, uh, Thing resonating right exactly because yeah we speak in terms of the eternity where there's no end to any of us mm -hmm. so wherever whenever you see this reading even if it's 10 years from now it's still going to be relevant <laughs> True story. in some form or fashion there you go. <laughs> all right so don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe and if you are new to the twin flame journey or you have been on your twin flame journey and you're looking for additional support don't forget that our e-course is on sale right now for 1111 mm -hmm. 
and it will really help to support you um, fill in any gaps. There's seven modules, seven modules, right? Seven. It's been a little bit since we created <laughs> it now, but yeah, seven modules. And it will really like uh, fill in the gaps and provide clarity as to what it is that you may be moving through and what it um, requires of you to manifest your harmonious twin flame union. So 1111, you can find that at twinflameunionwithin.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you in the next video.